theta there, uh, which is not correct. This is not uh, not the way we do it. If we do it this way, we only can have one angle, and we need two answers. Now, what I do is I use my uh, inverse tan five, okay, not minus five, just positive five, and find the angle. There is one point, uh, one point three seven in radians. Okay. Okay. It's minus. Sorry, it's one point three seven in radians. Okay, and one point three seven zero. So alpha one should be pi minus one point three seven. And uh, alpha two is two pi minus one point three seven, okay? because here can be uh, either zero or two pi. Okay, we can move around the circle here. Simple stuff. Okay, now well, just. One minus the answer on the top. Oh, sorry, sorry, I made a mistake there. Okay. It's just not used to use uh, this calculator. So let's do it again. Inverse inverse five and uh, what's happening is pi pi minus one point three seven. Okay. So we go to pi minus the an answer we will have 1.76 so one of our answer is 1.768 and uh, the answer the other answer will be okay Two pi minus that, which is four point nine zero. Okay, four point nine. Well, nine one zero. Let's make it three significant, four significant figures. Okay. That's your answer in radians form. Okay. Now let's do uh, question D. Okay. In question D, let's draw unicircle first. Say A S T. So we have sine alpha equals to minus number. So our answer in unicircle should be in the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant and we find the angle theta here okay by inserting the angle theta is sine inverse zero point seven okay which is inverse sine zero point seven Which is zero point seven seven five. So our alpha one 
here. Okay, there's zero, there's pi. So alpha one will be pi plus zero point seven seven five and our alpha two will be two pi minus zero point seven seven five. Okay. This is two pi. And uh, alpha will be let's use our calculator. Okay. Pi plus the answer which is 3.9, a 3.17, 3.17, uh, sorry, 9.17, okay, 3.9.17, all, okay, uh, pi minus the answer which is 5.508 okay. 5.508 and this is our answer okay the the, the tricky part in uh, with using the graphical calculator is people just forget two answers okay. and uh, follow the uh, well the rest is similar as you using our uh, special triangles just uh, okay. and uh, Okay, so, so overall is quite uh, well. It's quite uh, similar to the way we saw it by hand. Okay, so yep. Let's let me keep going on trigonometry. Uh, one more thing I have to say with using graphic calculator is. Uh, when you put it in radian, so radian form, uh, in you can in solving some questions like this, sine ten degrees. The way to do is use in sine uh, okay, ten, and uh, input the little degree sign there, okay, and uh, press enter, and you will have it in the uh, have your answer in radians form. Okay, and uh, if you don't put the degree sign, you will, if say sign 10, if you don't put the degree sign, you will get a different answer because your graphic calculator will assume that you input the value of the radians, okay. which is uh, minus 10, oh sorry, minus 0 0.5, which is uh, sine 10 in radians form. Okay, uh, it's very important here uh, to use to input this little sign there. Okay, and uh, also uh, what you need to do is uh, also sometimes if you try to solve question like this sine uh, 60 degrees, okay, you can actually get an exact answer from your calculator. Let's try. We use sun 60 degrees okay, here. And uh, first, I have a, I will have a decimal number, but I click on. Well, I highlight it and uh, click there. I will have a decimal number. The the setting is you go to this. Click on the arrow here and in your calculator and go to basic format and uh, t 
take the decimal calculation this and this um, and you will for, uh, find the exact value of the of a sine sign of an angle okay this you set okay I will do some more things on graphic calculators uh, later okay and uh, this eight for now.